What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I've got another very important AMC update to bring all of you this afternoon. So what we're going to be going over in this video is that the liquidations in our financial markets is starting. We have been talking about these key indicators in our markets over the past month or so, and we are finally, finally starting to see all of these signs start to play out. We have Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, and even Morgan Stanley coming out and saying, all of the key players in our market right now are wildly over leveraged. We foresee a major market disruptive event coming over the next couple of quarters, and they are starting to position themselves accordingly. And in addition to this, we are also seeing the Fed say something very similar about hedge funds. They have said that the hedge funds uh, leverage levels are well above their historical averages. This is extremely bullish, in my opinion, for AMC. And we are seeing one of these key indicators really start to snitch and I do believe that we could potentially be getting really close to this market disruptive event. Now, in addition to this, we are also seeing a very interesting disparity between the short interest reporting data that we are getting from Ortex and the price of AMC. So we're going to go over that as well. So before we get into all of that information, if you enjoy the information and analysis that I'm providing for you in this video, make sure you go down and hit that like button. It costs you nothing to do it, but it really helps us out a whole lot in getting this information out to as many many people who want to learn. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So when we're looking at the price action for AMC today, we're down about 1.2% or 1.4% at the current time that I'm recording. Now, this is not necessarily what we wanted to see coming off a massive red week. But again, nothing has changed with the AMC short squeeze situation besides the price that we are seeing on our screen. Now, here is the indicator that is really snitching and telling us exactly what is going on. That is going to be the 10-year treasury. So when we look at the 10-year treasury, we can see that it's been on a significant downtrend over the last couple of months. Now, we haven't seen the 10-year treasury this low since uh, the February of 2021. So what exactly does this mean? When we come over to this article right here, investors who are wary about the economy, meaning they're scared of something happening, their investments may lose ba uh, value, might step back a bit from riskier investments and instead pile into government-backed treasuries, which pushes prices higher and yields lower. You know what this means. They are taking money out of the stock market, i.e. selling and no longer buying and putting it into uh, safer investments. Now, this causes a lot of selling pressure on the market. And the fact that we already have a wild amount of over leveraging going on in our market right now, this leads the way to even more margin calls and potentially forced liquidations coming in our near future. Now, taking a look at what the overall market is doing today, that is reflected in the 10-year treasury. We can see the 10-year treasury is down, signifying that people are taking their money out of the stock market, and the S&P 500 is taking an absolute beating today. Now, you might be thinking that there are some other causes of this, that there's other things going on in our world economy that are causing the downtrend in our overall markets today. But just last week, we saw in Goldman Sachs earnings report that they dumped about a quarter, 25% of all of their equity investments. Now, this is a brilliant move by Goldman Sachs. The Fed has been coming out time and time again and saying that everything is under control. So the everyday re retail investor might think everything is fine and is going to continue buying into this bull market. What Goldman is doing is they are getting out of their positions first. They are starting the massive wave of delevering. Now, this information was released just last week. So if you are another investment bank and you are looking at the market as a whole, and now you see one of your competitors, Goldman Sachs, one of the largest players in our financial markets, start to liquidate a massive portion of their portfolio. What do you think they are going to do next? They are going to start calling for the downtrend in our markets too. That is where we come over to this screenshot from CNBC Pro, where Morgan Stanley thinks a 10 to 20% correction is ahead and tells investors to get defensive. Now, think about this from a broader perspective. We know that all of these institutions institutions, specifically hedge funds, are wildly over leveraged at the current time. Now, we know this because one, the margin debt in the United States right now is approaching $900 billion, and the Fed has come out and said that the hedge funds leverage levels are well uh, above their historical levels. So this is creating a very interesting situation where if the market does start to sell off, or AMC squeezes first and drains all of the liquidity from these different institutions, it does not matter, in my opinion, if the market comes down first 
or if AMC and GameStop squeeze and then the market starts to correct, either scenario results in AMC and GameStop participating in that mother of all short squeezes that we are all looking for. Now, in addition to this, we have JP Morgan tightening up their risk standards. We have JP Morgan warns hedge funds to expect intraday margin calls. So what we're doing here is we're looking at the 10-year treasury starting to fall. This is signifying that the overall market is ready for one of these significant sell-offs. Goldman Sachs is liquidating. Morgan Stanley is calling for a major sell-off in our markets. And JP Morgan is going to start margin calling everybody. Now, again, this article is unconfirmed. We went through this last week, but just look at how much evidence there is at our markets coming to the end of this bull run and coming into the next major market event. Now, in addition to this, we know that the banks already have too much cash in their system at the current time. And we know this by looking at these reverse repos. We saw another massive reverse repo today of $860 billion. So what this is mainly telling us right here is our market is overcooked. There's a collateral and liquidity crisis right now. And when you combine that with the 10-year treasury essentially snitching on the entire market, meaning that big money is flowing from equities and into bonds, everybody is scared of some major event happening in the near future. So what happens here is let's break this down for everybody that is still worried about AMC coming down with the entire market. First, AMC has a negative beta, meaning that it has an inverse correlation to what the market does. So if the market goes up, AMC would be expected to go down. If the market goes down, AMC would be expected to go up. Now, we also know that the leverage levels in the United States right now are well above the historical levels. When we see the market overall start to sell off, it drains liquidity from all of these over leveraged institutions say they have a very large position on the S&P 500 and now the S&P 500 is slumping down and starting to decrease. Well, they're going to be receiving these margin calls and it's going to drain their liquidity. They are no, not going to basically be able to withstand all of these new liquidity calls or margin calls that is coming. And when they can't actually fulfill those liquidity obligations, that is when we start to see the forced liquidation start to occur. Now, that could be from the other positions that they have, but it could potentially cause all of these institutions to cover their AMC shorts. Now, this is really a domino effect that could start to play out because when you think about what's going on with all of the AMC shorts right now, if one really large short position starts to cover and boost the price up and we start to see the, the beginning of this squeeze, well, then that just starts the domino effect of all of these other institutions basically saying, well, it's time. The, 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 the overall short squeeze is starting to happen and we need to exit this position or we face going out of business. Now, when we look over at the Ortex data, this is something that I really want to bring up to you guys. So when we look at the return shares versus the borrowed shares today, at the current time that I'm recording, we have a net borrow um, or a net return of AMC shares of about 1.9 million. Now, last week we were talking about how to Delta hedge sold puts. What you have to do when the institutions sell all of these put contracts in in order to be directionally neutral is you actually have to go out and short the stock. So the data that we are receiving today is actually from Thursday. Now, if you remember what happened on Thursday, we saw a pretty significant green day on AMC, but we still saw a lot of puts that were in the money or getting really close to the money, meaning that all of these institutions started to unhedge these put contracts, started to cover some of these short-term short positions, and that could be one of the reasons why we are seeing these short interest fall today on AMC. But the main thing that I want to get across to you guys in this video is, yeah, liquidations are starting to happen. We are seeing big money flow, flow from stocks and into bonds. Now, there's an old saying in, in the financial markets. It's called follow the money. Now, what the big money is telling us to do right now in the overall market, not with our AMC positions, is to sell. They are saying reposition yourselves. Something big is coming in the near future. But us as AMC shareholders, we pretty much know at this point what the core due diligence for this short squeeze situation is. We know the market is over leveraged. We know that the shorts have overshorted this stock. And in my opinion, it is only a matter of time before all of these liquidations really start to drain the liquidity of all of these large institutions. And that could be when we start to see this short squeeze. So that is going to conclude this update on AMC. If you enjoyed the information and analysis that I provided for you in this video, make sure you go down and hit that like button. It costs you nothing.
nothing to do it, but it really helps us out a whole lot in getting this information out to as many people who want to learn. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video so you get to stay up to date on all of your favorite stocks, learn about a couple of new ones, and see exactly which options I'm trading and which strategies I'm using to trade them. So I hope you guys are having a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next video.